Hi, Adam here. Just before I hand you over to Alex, who's going to take you through our top restaurant point of sale recommendations, let me just say, your business is totally unique. And that's why we have a marketplace of not five, but over 50 point of sale solutions, all of which have unique strengths. So watch this video and then try our comparison tool, or better yet, give us a call for a totally personalized recommendation that's completely for free. So without much further ado, take it away, Alex. Hi, I'm Alex, and I help restaurants choose their new point of sale. Let's begin with POS for smaller restaurants. One thing we'd like to recommend to starter routers is something called a payment facilitator, such as iZettle, Square, or Summer. Unlike POS software designed for larger merchants, a payment facilitator provides both your software and your payment processing. Their processing comes ready integrated with their POS software, which is how the software is paid for. You can run it all out of any iPad or even a phone. That means that from a billing perspective, it's really simple and it's low risk. There's no monthly fees, no contract, and no bills in the post. The processing fee is 1.75% and it's deducted before the money even enters your account. And the software itself is really good. There's no training required. It's intuitive and it's easy to use. It's not designed to manage bigger businesses and it doesn't have sophisticated reporting features or the kind of workflows which could manage complex services. But if you want to simply and quickly sell items in a bistro or cafe environment, these brands are perfect. And why iZettle? There's four popular payment facilitator brands, iZettle, Square, PayPal here and SumUp. All of them have similar payment rates. Square and iZettle are probably the two with the most sophisticated software and iZettle is the best reviewed by users on our website. We're also able to discount the reader when you sign up to iZettle through a link that we'll put in the description of this video. Two great brands which are always worth looking at are the Good Till and Nobly. You can certainly use them if you have sit down tables as they do have table management, but I think they're particularly good for quick service restaurants where you buy at a counter or you have a wooden spoon table numbering system. At this tier, you have to pay for your POS software as well as for payments. The software pricing is complex and it depends on your size of business and what features you buy. But for either software, we'd expect you could get started for as little as around 30 to 50 pounds a month. So why upgrade? Well, the first difference is just the scope of the software. Good Till and Nobly expand into areas that iZettle doesn't touch. One example is inventory management. With iZettle, you can't really keep track of your stock, but mid-tier systems are designed to aid stock takes, create purchase orders, and calculate things like stock shrinkage, which you can start to manage properly. They also have the beginnings of staff management. There's separate logins and screens for different people who can clock in or out at the end of the day to log work hours. But they're also not so complex that you're going to need serious training. Some of our customers complain that with bigger software, too many features clutter the front end. That's not the case here, so they're great for speed at till. Of Good Till and Nobly, which would we pick? Well, it's a wash. On our website, the Good Till has slightly higher score than Nobly. On the other hand, there are some specific features in which Nobly does a little bit better. Or it might be that you prefer the pricing scheme to, of one to the other. While they're a similar price in general, Good Till has a lot of individual modules which you can add on, whereas Nobly is a more traditional three tiers. <laughs> Now we arrive at Touch Bistro, but first I want to say an aside about the whole POS market. For the smaller merchants we deal with, a POS is a jack of all trades software, which has lots of functions. For example, mid-tier POS helps you with your front of house workflows. It helps you with your inventory management. It helps you with your table management. It helps you with reporting and understanding your business. It can even help manage your staff. It does everything in the same way that you as the manager have to do everything. But there's a point where that isn't really good enough. As we start to get towards complexer restaurants or larger businesses, it's usually better to have different softwares for different parts of the business. This is called a best of breed approach. In the same way you might hire different people to be front of house manager and head of operations, you'd hire different softwares for those different jobs too. Some software brands do claim to be able to do everything, but generally we don't think they're very good. So when we look at the POS brands, as we get closer to the top of the market, the features which refer to inventory and staff usually plateau in how complex they are. Software brands offer integrations in those areas instead, where two softwares talk. Features which are unique to POS software, that's your front of house and some reporting analysis, continue to get more complex. Touch Bistro has everything you would need for a really complicated front of house, such as a sit-down full-service restaurant. 
For one thing, it has what's called conversational ordering. Whereas with some softwares, you might need to guide the customer through a linear set of questions with conversational ordering, you can enter orders in the way people say them so that your waiters can upsell freely and naturally as they establish rapport with the guests. Touch Bistro has solid table management, a map of all your restaurant tables, which allows you to do things like keep tabs and analysis, which relates to those tables. So you can spot useful trends like that people leave sooner when they're placed by the door and also has a lot of integration partners so you can stop thinking about your POS software and start thinking about your software stack and your full software football team. At the top end, we have Lightspeed POS. Lightspeed is one of the biggest and most dominant players in the market. You'll find Lightspeed in restaurants which are anywhere from one to 100 plus locations. If you are a single restaurant, it might be that you find Lightspeed a little too much and get lost in the software. But if you come to grips with it, you'll find that the functionality is awesome and you can understand your business like never before. Lightspeed has an unmatched number of integrations. So like the last metaphor, you really can come up with your software dream team, which is why it's a really easy choice when we're planning full stacks for clients. Even if you're so big and so unique that you're thinking of commissioning bespoke software, you might find that it's cheaper and easier to commission a single module to be written and added to Lightspeed. That's exactly what our enterprise build team did for the snooker bar Rileys. Lighting over pool tables to indicate a session, done. In addition to the awesome front of house features and the unmatched number of integrations, my favorite thing about Lightspeed is the reporting capabilities. You can develop an extremely deep understanding of your business as you begin to use your data in flexible and complex ways. Whatever size you are from a market stall to Riley Snooker Bar, StoreKit is here to help. It's free to call and get a POS recommendation, so take advantage of that. We're POS professionals who help guide merchants of all sizes to a system which suits them. And finally, if you like this video, give us a like and subscribe. Thanks.